Hey YouTube, this is College Toot. Just going to show you a tutorial about how to make some cool vectorizations and just uh, learning pretty much how to vector in general. I'm going to start off with a little, just, just to show you how to do it, and I'm just going to speed through it um, so I can show you a speed vector and so it'll work out. So first thing we have to learn before we vector anything is we have to know how to use the pen tool. The pen tool can be found above the type tool, and pretty much it's that thing that just makes all the curvy lines, and so you, you can do some crazy things with it. You can pretty much do whatever you want, but it's it gets nuts. You have to watch out for it. Next thing is we have to know how to use the Pathfinder options. And the Pathfinder options can be found if you go to Window, and then click on Pathfinder. And then there's this thing down here, it's called Divide, Trim, Merge, Crop, Outline, and Minus, black, minus Back. And I like the Divide most, that's personally my favorite. Although I'm going to go over a tutorial about how to do that um, next time. And stuff. And so... Next, we have to paint the back layers first. And what I mean by that is you see this dark green right here, and obviously you're going to paint that before you paint the wing. And so just remember that you pretty much have to do that. And so, cool, so let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to start by making a new layer, just a new fresh one. And then I'm going to click this background image, which is my background image, and I'm just going to lock it in place. And so that way I can't move it or anything, and it'll be fine. And might as well lock, lock the text too, just for fun. And then so I'm just going to click on layer 2, the layer that we just made, and come over here with our pen tool. And I'm just going to click, and then click and drag. And it's kind of like, you can kind of think of it as like almost gravity. Um, and see it's starting to do a black fill right here, just go click no fill. Um, oops. It's going to drag it. I just clicked A, brought out my direct selection tool, and then clicked on this endpoint so I can move it. But you see these little handlebars? The pen kind of looks uh, works like gravity, and the further out you pull it, the further out the curve will be influenced by that handlebar. And as you can see in here, I'm just going to click around. It doesn't really matter where I click, as long as I come out on the endpoint, because we're going to be drawing over this later. And then just click over here to our next point. Cool. And then again over here, it doesn't really matter where I go because I'll be painting over that later. Remember, back layers first. And I'm just going to click to where the light green and the green meet, which is, you know, I would say right there. And I'm just going to drag out drag out an area. And see, as long as I pop out right there. But you see, it curved around. So if you click, if you hold Alt, oops, if you hold Alt, you can drag you can drag just that one handlebar and just drag it wherever you want. I mean, right there is fine, except I want to move it up just a little bit. Cool. And then click P for the pen tool and hover over the last endpoint so you get a little dashed line. which will, So it, it's telling the um, computer that you want to continue that same path. I'm going to come over here and just finish it up. A little too much right there. And then I'll click A right here. Just bring that out a little bit. That's fine for right now. And then just click P. And then so continue this path. And then just close off this path. And so yeah. So then there you go. And so you can see I have the light green uh, shaded. It's I have the light green outline shaded right there. And so next thing that we are going to do is we're going to outline this green. And so since the green is you can the green's going to be in back of the white. It really doesn't really doesn't matter as long as you just we'll start up in this corner. As long as you right here. It's going to pull it out. And then it's it's in back of the wing so it doesn't matter where we click. You can just click over here and you have to outline this area right here. All right, and then we're going to be painting in back of this red, so it doesn't really matter. And then we already painted, or we're going to be painting in this light green, so that doesn't really matter. And so we can just go crazy on this light green, but we have to come back over here. And, and, and we're going to be painting over that wing, too. We just have to come out on this end point right here, and then curve that out. And we're going to be painting over this red, so that doesn't matter, and just click. And so when I say it doesn't matter... You, the perfect example right here. Let's just fill this with our color right here, and I'm just going to pull out the eyedropper tool with the eye, and just click this color, so you can see it just filled it completely. Next, I'm going to click A, and then select that new, that uh, light green that we already did. And you can see here we made this perfect curve for it. 
And so what we're going to do with this is click I and then just go over this. And so you can see, oh, well, the dark green's in front. And so, okay, let's go to here. Take the dark green and pull it in back of the light green. Just put it right there. Oops. And so you can see here that we have this perfect curve. And that's the part that we were, that we were worried about before. But it's pretty much, it'll be all right. And so you can just, and so we'll just go out here. And then I'll do one more, then I'll jump to the speed vector. Let's do this dark green. And so you can see what parts we already, ha uh, we already have with this light green. And then we'll just, since we already have a curve right there, you can already have this pretty good curve. We, c we, won't, we won't worry about that. We'll just worry about this outline. And so just outline it right here. Looks like we go in there. And so now that we're behind this wing, doesn't really matter. We just have to come out on its outline. Cool. Looks good. All right, and then we're gonna be painting over this red spot later, and so we don't need to worry about that right now. And just come down, and then we'll go no fill with this, and so we can click I, and then put it. We, we just pretty much put that fill in. We see it's on top of the light green, which is not what we really want, and so we'll put that down. Put it down one more. And you can see here that it followed this curve perfectly. And so it looks pretty bad right now, but once I add this red, yeah, I'll add the red right now just, just to show you guys. And so we'll get rid of all these. And so we'll click, and right now we're just going to outline that little red bar right here. And it's pretty much, it's pretty straight except for just a little curve in it. Looks good. Next thing I want to do is I just want to click down here. But I'm going to pull this anchor point way in and I, I don't want to fill right now so I can see what's going on just pull this anchor point way in right there that looks pretty good take our pen tool and just click right there so it knows we want to continue and then just come back over here and just follow that follow the same curve of the line cool and then if it's too low for you just move it a little up and then click P and then just close off the path oops we'll just close off the path right there cool and so now we'll fill this with the background of the red, which is right there. And this one we want a stroke on. And so we'll go to our stroke and say add stroke. Except that stroke's a little too thin. We'll add another, we'll add a little bit of weight to it. And now let's pull out the other two layers. And so you can see here that pretty much it works out perfectly. And the only parts that are messed up are the parts that we're going to be painting over later. So like this wing, this little gun, and this other wing right here. And so that's how to vectorize stuff pretty easily. Um, I really hope I did a good job. Message me with any um, any questions that you have and stuff. Right now we're going to move the speed vector, and you, I'm just going to finish off the rest of the thing just so you can see it. And hope you have fun. All right, thanks. Bye. Cool, and now we're back, and now we're just pretty much uh, just gonna put in a background layer right here, and um, yeah, just gonna send this one to the back. And you can see slowly all the parts starting to come in a little bit, and so as I'm just moving this layer to the back, each part gets put in a little bit more, and you can see there, there the, pretty much the outline of the ship is. So if you have any questions about the tutorial, just message me, and um, yeah, I hope it worked out for you. Thanks. Bye.